everyone, it's me, the Otaku Thango, here to review episode 9 of The Ancient Magus Bride. So with this episode, well, <sighs> Elias is uh, holding up in his room for quite a while. It was like, I think, two weeks, she said, that he hasn't come out and he hasn't eaten or anything. Uh, meanwhile, she said and Ruth are getting closer as a uh, familiar and master, and I'm like, ah! What a good boy! Ruth is such a good doggo! <laughs> what a good boy. But, with Elias though, here's the thing. When Chisei goes into his room, he's like this monstrous creature, and he like, a almost attacks her, and I'm like, jeez, calm down! And, um, I think honestly he was like gonna kill her or something, but he like left before he could. I don't really know what is going on with him, and why. Like, Later he says, oh, my body was out of balance, you know, I'm trying to fix it, yada yada yada, and I'm just like, what's the real story here? What's going on with Elias and that whole weird creature form that he's got going on? But, uh, also, uh, she said he spends some time shopping around with, um, that lady that I forgot the name of, that she's like that, oh, gosh, I don't remember her name, but she spends some time with her, and she basically tells she say, hey, you shouldn't be too dependent on him, because that's kind of... Like, uh, yeah, that's not good, and, <laughs> and she's like, I know, but I can't help it, basically, so there was that scene, but, um, anyway, so half the episode is dedicated to them trying to find Elias when he disappears, um, and he disappears, like, you know, whatever, but, um, also the other half of the episode was spent learning about this old-ish man named Joel, uh, Joel, whatever the heck his name was, and he writes books, and there's a vampire, uh, like, kind of haunting him, basically, and he doesn't know she's there, and honestly, this episode felt rushed with that story, because, I mean, they didn't have a lot of time to tell it when it started, and, like, the almost middle-ish, towards the end episode kind of thing, and I'm like, that seemed kind of pointless, but they had to throw something in there before they found Elias, I guess, but, um, it was interesting for the most part that this vampire chick, like, one day she connected eyes with this, uh, he, he wasn't that old back then, but, um, they're supposed to drink the blood, you know, and, like, give them talent or whatever, but apparently she doesn't do that, and he's just a really good writer. I, I don't know, I don't, I don't see the point of this random side story that just kind of was there for, like, ten minutes, and then, oh, forget that ever happened, um, <laughs> back to Chisei and Elias, but, um, yeah, so, to me, I wanted to, like, see more of that, I was like, that's interesting, I guess there's not much more you can tell, and he got to see the, cause, like, the old man was like, oh, you know, one time in the garden I saw this really beautiful person, whatever, woman, and he got to see her again for, like, a split second, because, I guess, of Chisei's powers, uh, and, that was the thing, and she, the weirdest part though was when the vampire chick, uh, kissed Chisei, I'm like, whoa, 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 okay, that was really weird, um, that was strange, but, um, cause she did it to shut her up, I guess, when she's like, are you in love, and then she's like, and I'm like, okay, so that side story existed, and meanwhile, Ruth went off to find, uh, Ilias, and he did find him, told Chisei, Chisei showed up, and, you know, she was like, you know, why don't you just tell me about yourself for crying out loud? I've been worried sick about you since you left, basically, is how that conversation went down. And Elias was like, oh, you know what? Give me some time. I'll explain it all in due time. And I'm just like, okay, fine. Be that way. Be that way, Elias. I'm with Chisei on this, being a little angry about him not explaining things. Ah! <laughs> but, uh, then one of the a fairy shows up that kind of looks like a seal or something. It's like, you must return to the land of dragons! So that's what they're gonna do in the next episode! And I'm just like, okay, so we're returning there. I'm not exactly sure why, but they've been summoned back to the land of dragons, so... That'll be a thing that happens in the next episode. Um, this is probably, honestly, one of the weaker episodes, just because they threw in that random side story about the vampire chick and the old man. It just... Because it's just ten minutes of that, and then it's like, it ends, and then I'm like, you completely forget it happened almost, because then they're back to the Elias and Chisei thing. So it's just like, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, what'd you guys think of this episode? What do you think's gonna happen next? And I'll see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye!